Hello, grandchildren! I hope that scared you. Every time I do one of these, I have to figure out a new way to start it off, and I guess I can cross that one off my list. Anyway, it's Sunday. Uh, what I wanted to tell you guys about this week is uh, I was just going to talk about my job at KRCR, and I made an ad that I was in that's on TV. I mean, I've talked to you guys in the past about the whole I make ads and stuff for, for KRCR, and I guess I'll pop up a few of them. Every night, you know that you're getting the full story. Every day, we analyze the weather, so every night, we can alert you to potentially dangerous conditions. Make sure we get the full story, we track down multiple sources and explore all sides. We want to be your trusted source, and we know that means getting the facts right. So that is our commitment to you every day. I have to make promotional material for the news station, so that means that uh, all their brand I have to try to get across to as many people as I can, and uh, their stations kind of encompass a lot of the Northern California area, uh, where we have stations going all the way from like down to Chico up to Eureka. So I make these ads that, uh, that that try to get across our message and inform the viewers that you know we're the best at what we do. We have one slogan that's get the facts right, and we have one slogan that's severe weather first, or technically alerting you to severe weather danger. My job is to make sure that you remember both of those phrases. So yeah, mostly I make ads for the news station. If you're once in a while, I'll make an ad for something else that we have to make an ad for for some reason. And uh, I think I told you guys before about uh, in December, KRCR uh, partners up with the Salvation Army to do this thing called Stuff the Bus, which is uh, in December a toy drive to you know bring in toys and we try to fill up a, a big bus uh, with like all the way to the roof with toys. That's the goal at least. Uh, in Chico, they don't usually actually get to the roof. In Reading, I've heard they actually get like an entire bus filled with toys. Uh, but I don't I don't go to that one anyway They just give uh, that stuff to people who need it like during Christmas families who don't have enough money to give uh, Their children toys so it's, it's a good cause and stuff and uh, During Christmas I had to go and I had to help out with the you know the toy drive for that and that was really interesting And that was actually the first time that I ever uh, Slept in a hotel room by myself and I didn't even have to pay for it the, the KRC are paid for it So that was kind of like a cool trip. I'm getting off topic and that's not really that relevant or kind of I guess it's directly relevant But I'm gonna continue talking about what I was intending to talk about uh, We do stuff the bus again during the summer except during the summer It's not a toy drive because there's no Christmas or anything. Uh, we do a canned food driver technically it's a non-perishable goods drive uh, but same exact concept we try to stuff a bus filled with non-perishable food items and while I usually make ads for KRCR I'm pretty much never in them uh, for good reason I don't I don't want to be in an ad when I don't have to because it's going all across Northern California and most of the time the news anchors are what you should be seeing in the ad so I'm not gonna worry about uh, putting my face in something when there's these all these beautiful news angry faces that couldn't be in the ad Then stuff the bus came around and we needed to make an ad for it So I uh, I needed to, I wrote up this script and it was kind of like I mean it was more of a fun idea Not my normal serious like KRCR news channel 7 get the facts right we, we don't I didn't do that sort of normal serious businessy uh, and I wanted to make something that would really like I guess stand out against the other ones and be something that people would maybe pay attention to a little bit more than a regular ad and I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do for this ad but I knew that I wanted to start it out with screaming because I figure that's like the best way to get someone's attention if they're not really paying attention to the TV if they hear a scream they're gonna be like what, what was that and they're gonna watch whatever this thing is I wrote the script starting out with screaming and then I decided to just go all ridiculous with it and I ha I wrote in the script that there was a bunch of cans talking uh, pretty for the pretty much the entire ad to a person so this person opens up a cabinet and uh, there's a bunch of cans with googly eyes and they start talking to him telling him to bust off the bus and he screams That's how it starts out uh, So I wrote up this script and uh, I showed my boss and he was like, okay, let's go for it 
So, uh, and I didn't have anyone else to act in it. We don't really have actors at the news station. So it's like either you have to get the news anchors and weather people to do stuff, find someone in the office that wants to do it, or not have actors. And um, I needed to film this in a kitchen. And I figured the best place to film it would be in my kitchen because I have all my lights and everything at the house anyway. So I just have to take it downstairs, not transport it anywhere else. And then I didn't feel like getting someone from the office to be an actor in it or whatever. So I decided that I would just act in front of the camera for it. Anyway, I made the ad. I put a bunch of googly eyes on cans and had little sticks to little like uh, pipe cleaner arms on them. And it looks, it's, just, it's ridiculous and it's really dumb. But I made it and I guess the, the, the people around the office seem to respond well to it. So it's on TV now and my face is there for all of the uh, North State, all, all of Northern California that watches this news station, which is most of the people who watch the news watch us. We're like the, we're the more popular news station. But yeah, all of those uh, people who watch that are now gonna see my face screaming. Keep in mind, I'm not really happy with this. I filmed it in like an hour and I had to do everything with, uh, like I had to light everything. I had to do the acting in it. I had to puppeteer the, the cans, which was actually a lot more complicated than uh, you'd think because there was like, a, there were strings and then little pipe cleaner things and I had another string with like a piece of paper that you'll see in a minute. But uh, I had to do everything and I filmed it in like an hour or two and then I had to edit everything the next morning and get it finished by the next day. So it's not anywhere near like perfect. It's not like a national ad or anything, but uh, I think it turned out better than like a normal local ad would. Anyway, here is the, the ad that I made that has my face in it and it's on TV right now. Let us out. Ah! You should take us to stuff the bus because you never eat us. On Friday, May 20th, KRCR News Channel 7, the Salvation Army, and local Ford dealers are putting on stuff the bus where they try to fill a Raba and a Beeline bus with non-perishable food items to give to those in need. It's happening at the Chico Mall and at Crown Motors, and they need all of the help that they can get. So because I don't eat you, I should take you to the stuff the bus food drive. Exactly. Also, you're talking to me right now. Does that mean I'm crazy? Definitely. Okay, let's go. Hey, be gentle. So that's exciting. My face is on TV, and I'm I don't I'm not really that concerned about it. But I know that there's a chance that I could be walking around in public, and someone would be like, "Hey, you're the guy from that that can ad that was screaming," and I'll be like, ah! like that, you know. So they so they know that it was me. I'll second thought. Maybe screaming is not a good affirmation to use. Anyway, that's it. Sorry, this one's a little bit shorter. Uh, well, I guess I don't know. I feel like I don't have any rules for this journal so that sometimes it'll be 20 minutes long and sometimes it'll be five minutes long or whatever and oh by the way i forgot to put something in the description of the last video for my honorary grandchildren of right now uh so if you're watching this right now um i think i explained it in the last video but pretty much the downside of me doing these videos right now is that my grandchildren can't really interact with me right now uh so if i'm not really clear with uh, some kind of story or how i'm telling something right now uh, they're not going to be able to let me know that I messed up until like 50 years from now or whatever when they're watching this. So um, if you happen to be watching this video right now in the present, um, you can either leave a question in the comments uh, for this video if there's a comment section on the website that I'm putting this on. You can email me at uh, awaywardadventurer at gmail.com. Yeah, I, I think those are the two best methods. Ask me pretty much anything that if you were my grandchildren, you would want to know. Or if a story wasn't that clear, then I guess ask me uh, to clarify in another video or if I kind of mentioned something that you want more details on it. Uh, if you have a question, you can ask me in the comments or send it to that email address and uh, I will probably answer it in another video on behalf of my grandchildren. I might not answer everything. Like if you're like, hey, uh, if I was your grandchild, I would definitely show us your butt. Only one person gets to see my butt and that's Jesus. Out of context, that's probably a really weird sentence. Anyway, actual grandchildren, if you see me anytime in the near future, we should play... Ooh, pool. We should play pool like uh, billiards or whatever you call it uh, in the future. Pool or billiards, you probably know what I'm talking about. Google it, look, look at an old encyclopedia if you don't know. It's a fun game. We should find a pool table somewhere and we should play it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm probably old and shaky though. So 
I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna stab you in the eye with one of the sticks or something. Uh, and then you can't get mad at me though because I'm old. So you're just gonna be like sitting there crying with one eye missing, and I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm old, and then you're gonna not have an eye and that'll be that and i'm not gonna get in trouble for it or anything because i'm an old man and i'm your grandfather so i'm in charge of you i should i'm gonna shut up now uh yeah talk to you guys later <laughs>